Hey, what time is it? February time. February. I think we should just not do it and do curse curves instead. No. You've okay, so February part two. Is you got the, curves. the song is the song is Grand Theft Autumn. Where is your boy? From 2003, from their album "Take This to Your Grave," Fall Out Boy, and fun fact about this video: they almost died on the way to getting there. There's a whole video. They almost fell off a cliff, and Pete got like glass inside his head. And if Patrick would have been sitting in another spot, he would have died, because it was snowy. And also fun on the second album, the cover, the video that all the people are watching is a van covered in snow, which pays homage to their. In which. Oh. From Take This to Your Grave. No, no, from uh, from Under the Cork Tree. Oh. Do you get it? I get it, like the cover. Oh. Oh, oh sneaky guys. Oh. Okay, so here it is. It's going to be really crappy because it's 2003 Fall Out Boy. What year did this come out in? Scroll down. I think it's 2003. No, Emily, it just said the year it was uploaded because... It also says the year it came out in. It doesn't. Usually it does. It says the lyrics because nobody knows what he's saying. Okay, go. I know every single word. Hey, skip the ad. No, we're going to watch the ad. Oh, God. I don't know what this is. I, I don't even want to okay. know what it is. What, what is it? They look cold. It's a little guy who's freezing with a little hat. The He's little hat. hat. Okay, what's happening? Oh! Oh, who's that? Snowball fight? No. Oh, wow. Look at Andy's wearing short hair. sleeves. Andy's hair. Emily, is that, if he could, he would probably not be wearing a shirt right now. Keep watching the video. Stuff actually happens. Oh, good. Stuff. Oh, look. It's an evil. It looks like Ryan Ross. Does it look like it's not Ryan? What Ryan Ross looks like. Does it look like? Oh, Joe! It might as well be him. What's happening? Just oh, Effie, look, you can see them. their breath. Hey, it's Pete. You miss Pete. <laughs> okay, what's happening? The kid has a camera. Illegally taking photos of them? No, he's not taking photos of them. You'll see who he's taking photos of. Is it the girl from the Santa Scene video? The one who's dancing at the beginning, yes. Oh, he's look at dancing. the little joke! I'll show you when we watch the Santa Scene. Oh, yeah, She's wait, in the Santa Scene. When they show all their old videos. Yeah. Stuff. Get off my ass and call oh, you. When I figured that out, I was like, ooh, damn. I just, oh. oh, look, a bedroom filled with stuffed animals. How kawaii. Cool Uh-oh. What's she doing? I don't know. <laughs> Do you hear that? Wait. It's a smelly smell. It's smells. Smelly. Okay, keep going. Yeah, yeah. This song was awesome live. Oh, what she? Oh, does she knows that he's. Nice. She knows that she's. He's watching her. Ooh, Ryan Ross sets my window first. I would have to know who he is, and second, I would probably tell him to go away. And I'd be like, "Hey, it's a guy in Ross," and he would be like, "Oh, bye." Oh, the darn. <laughs> oh, Evie, look how cold they are. Poor babies. Oh, was that Joe? Yeah. Joe with short hair. Uh oh. Why are we watching her like undress? Cause he's watching her. Why is she Who's wearing that? You two from the closet. Watching to be the freak in your jeans. Okay. Is that where this came, that came from? No. Oh. Wait, no. And then why is she wearing that in winter? Look what she's wearing. She's wearing like a tank top, a mini skirt, and like thigh high socks. Cause she's a sixth grader boy at our school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good one. Then. Ooh, the breakdown, not really. She needs to wear a coat. It is a coat down. She looks Ooh, nice. look at little Peter. Peter and Joe look like twins in this. Peter. Oh, that kid's gonna... Do you want to feel the snow <laughs> That's what they're saying. saying. <laughs> if you play this backwards, it's just, do you want to feel the snowman 50 times? Yes, that's all it is. Oh, the best friends! Uh, sharing the microphone. Her socks are pretty iconic. Oh, sharing the microphone. Oh, look at Patrick. Oh, there he is. Where and is who? There is there. Uh oh. Something. What? what? Out? In okay. his van. She likes that he watches her while she gets is dressed. Is this like the first ever? You know that trope 
You know that trope, we're posing this a lot, but do you know that trope that Nostalgia Critic always talks about where it's like the stock, or no, everybody always talks about it, even like cinema sins and the what? Uh, screen junkies, they always talk about, yeah, I'm really into that side of YouTube. Um, they talk about the trope where a girl finds it flattering that a guy is stalking her. No. It happens in every single movie. Okay, well, I guess that's it, because that girl really likes him, I guess. He's creepy, Ryan Ross. He has nice hair. Yeah. Looks like Jaime. Yeah. Jaime Fuenciada. <laughs> so what do you think about that video? So was that worth it? Fallout Boy was dying to get there. That was so worth it. Um, what should I draw? I don't know. What's Thigh high socks. Yeah, those, that, I was going to say that. That actually stuck out to me. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, if we watched our last video, after each video, Abby's going to draw a picture of something that represents that video. Abby, you're going to have to keep a lot of space. Fall Out Boy has a lot of music videos. Hey, I wonder what you're going to draw for Carpal Tunnel of Love. <laughs> so I gave this one two pairs of thigh-high socks. Out of two. Out of two. I gave this one near-death experience. <laughs> I give this four cases of hypothermia. I give this one uh, trope where the girl falls in love with the guy who's stalking her. I give this one short-sleeved Andy not caring about cold. Cold does not affect Andy at all. If it was up to him, he'd be wearing a shirt. What? The house. The house. Oh my god. I give it one Emily, peeping Tom guy who looks I like a guy in Ross. He's terrible at bubble, bubble letters. I really bad at bubble letters, guys. What is with that R? <laughs> That's like a joke. Oh my god, do you remember Billy Madison? They go R. It's just a K. It's just like something with a kick. What? When they're teaching Billy Madison how to write in cursive. No, I like, I like when he was trying to do the R's. <laughs> Or the Z's. Yeah, he's like... He's like... He just has a ton of little squigglies. That movie's great. Okay, so what do you think about that one? That was it better than the first? Well, the first one sucked. What do you think about this one? How do you think about Patrick and Peach and microphone? Oh, that, that definitely proves that they're in a fan pairing. I know. Obviously. Like, for real, though. Like for so, reals. that was a good one. I think we might do one more today. Really? So don't, so just so we get the take this to your grave over with. Oh, really? We're almost done with that album? Yeah, this is the last video from that album. What's the next one? Next is Saturday. Put another X on no, you don't the know Saturday. That one. And then after that, we get into the fun area. Hey, wait, that from under the cork first tree. album get really big? Because they had one popular singer from their first album. One pop oh. Just like, I was thinking Like the this. Killers. I was thinking about this. Um, you know, like, uh, okay, so the Gorillas. They only have one album, yes. No, no, they have like four. Nobody no, cares. They have three, actually. Um, okay, so you know the guy, um, Damon Albarn, who made it? Who made sure, the Gorillas? Sure, sure. Blur. And he, like, immediately, he got, like, an animator and he got all this stuff. Because he like, knew people. Because he knew he was successful enough to make this work. That's and why like, Green Day can do a ton of side bands and they can still be popular. Yeah. But he, no, I mean, he knows where to, uh, like, he knew that it was going to work because he was already. But famous. he didn't know it was going to yeah, work. Yeah, but I mean, that's why he, for the first album they made a ton of animations and stuff. Already. I think he just wanted to do something different. I don't think he cared if it worked. Yeah, but anyways, I mean, he invested a lot of money into it because he already had, like, so much money and fame and stuff, I guess. Well, that always does work because when Fall Out Boy went on hiatus, Patrick did a solo album. And a lot of people have had a big problem with it. And Patrick almost quit music because he was getting so much hate. That's weird. It was really sad. And then people making fun of him for not being fat. And I was like, excuse me. How does that even... What? They, they were like, you were better when you were fat. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, because okay. somebody's, uh, like, how they look affects their talent. Yes. Like, it affects how they sing. Patrick's only a good singer when he's fat. February. February.